Hi everyone, my name is Rashmi. Welcome to my channel, Keep Calm and Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little panda bear. For this panda bear, you're going to need black and white double knit yarn. I've chosen to work with grey colour just so you can see the stitches better on the camera. You will also need teddy bear security eyes. I would suggest for you to have metal backing for this. This will allow you to insert the eyes into the head easily, especially when we have eye patches on the panda's eyes. And you will also need darning needle, a stitch marker and some fibre fill. Make sure you've got all of those things and let's get started. Start off with the legs and for this grab hold of your grey yarn and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. Slip your crochet hook inside the loop and let's work chain two. Here's one and here's my second chain. Once you have your two chains, you're going to skip the first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Let's go ahead and slip our hook in the second chain from your hook. Yarn over and pull up a loop, two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through both. That is my first single crochet of this round. I'm going to work six all together. Here's second. Third. Fourth, fifth, and my sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. Now we can start round two. We will be working in a spiral, so we're going to locate our first single crochet of our previous round and work our second round from there on. So let's go ahead and slip our crochet hook in the top part of your first single crochet of your previous round. I'm going to work a single crochet in there. That's my first stitch here. Back into that same stitch to work your second single crochet in that same space. Now we've just worked an increase. So each time when you work two single crochets into the same stitch, it means an increase. We are going to be working six increases all together. Here's my second increase, third increase, fourth increase, fifth increase, and my sixth increase. Now we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Now as we're working in a spiral, we need to be using something to identify the start of our round. I'm going to be using the stitch marker. So let's put that in. If you don't have a stitch marker, feel free to use a paper clip or even a hairpin or a different color yarn and thread it through here to keep a track of that. So after that single crochet, you're going to work an increase. Each time I say increase, it's two single crochets in that same stitch. Now here's a repeat for your whole round. One single crochet followed on with an increase, single crochet increase all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count is 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. We're going to follow this single crochet on with an increase. So two single crochets in that same stitch. Follow this on with another single crochet. Now here's your repeat for this round. Single crochet, an increase, single crochet. Single crochet, increase, single crochet. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. Let's start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're now going to work a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round, you're going to have 24 single crochets in a row. You're going to follow the same instructions twice to have two rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead, work two rounds of just single crochet and meet me back here. 
At the end of two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 24. We're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. Here's my first stitch marker back in place. Going to work the next one in the next stitch. So I have two single crochets in a row and now we're going to work a decrease. To work a decrease, you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch and pull up a loop like this and in the stitch after that. Slip your hook in there, pull up a loop. So th you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And that's your combination for this round. Two single crochets followed on with a decrease, two single crochets and a decrease all the way around. Let's go ahead and show you one more. So we're going to work two single crochets. There's one, two, and to work your decrease, you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop in the stitch after that, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. So go ahead, work this round and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round with a decrease. So we're going to pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this decrease on with single crochets in every single one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this round, you should have a total of 16 single crochets in a row. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 17. Now we're going to start the next round with three decreases in a row. So let's slip our hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop in the stitch after that, and pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. That's my first stitch of this round, so I'm going to put a stitch marker in place. Let's work two more decreases. So slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, stitch after that, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. One more time. And now you should have a total of 11 stitches left. You're going to work a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way to the end. So go ahead and work this round and then meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 14. We're now going to start the next round with two decreases in a row. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go and put your stitch marker back in place. We're now going to work one more decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook again, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. You should have 10 stitches left altogether and you're going to work a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way to the end. Go ahead and work that and also fill this space up with some fiber fill and meet me back here. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. I've already gone ahead and filled this space up with some fiber fill. So let's start our next round. Now we're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're now going to Follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round, you will have 12 single crochets in a row. You're going to follow the same instructions seven times to have seven rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead, work seven rounds of just single crochet and meet me back here. At the end of these rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 12. And we're going to work last few stitches. Now, as you can see on the foot, we've finished right on the side of this leg. We want to bring this stitch that we finished with either in the front or the back. So we're going to be working three more stitches to make that happen. 
So go ahead, work three single crochets. Here's my first, second, third, and once you've worked your three single crochets, you're going to slip stitch in the next stitch to finish with this leg like this. And let's go ahead and snip this yarn off. Pull this thread out and pull this up to secure that in place. Now, when you squeeze the top of this leg, let's show you closely. This stitch that you finished with is going to be directly in the front so when you're stitching the leg onto the body it's going to make it so much more easier to stitch it along the top so go ahead follow the same instructions one more time to create another one of these i've now finished making the two legs let's move on to the arms for this you're going to grab hold of your gray yarn again and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer let's slip our hook inside and chain two that's one and two. To start round one, we're going to skip this chain here and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Slip your hook inside, pull up a loop, two loops on a hook, yarn over and pull through both. That's my first single crochet of this round. We're going to work six of them all together. Here's second, third, fourth, fifth, and my sixth one. Now, once you have your six single crochets in a row, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. Now we're starting to work in a spiral. So first single crochet of this round is going to be on top of your previous round. So slip your hook in the first single crochet of your previous round. Just here. And work an increase in there. So two single crochets in the same stitch. That's my first. Here's my second. Now we are going to be following this on with an increase in every single one of these stitches. So all together, you will have six increases in this round. That's my second increase worked. Here's my third increase. Fourth increase. fifth increase and then my sixth one there we go once you have your six increases you're going to start the next round by working one single crochet in our first stitch now from here i'm going to start using my stitch marker to identify the start of my round and we're going to follow this on with an increase in the next stitch so two single crochets in the same stitch there we go and here's your repeat for this round one single crochet followed on with an increase a single crochet increase all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 18. we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place And we're now going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. We're going to work two rounds of just single crochet. Each round will be finished with 18 single crochets in a row. So go ahead, work two rounds of just single crochet and then meet me back here. After two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're now going to work a decrease in the next stitch. To do this, you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, do the same with the stitch after that, pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round. One single crochet followed on with a decrease, a single crochet decrease all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 12. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. And let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. 
and we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around now to complete one round you will need 12 single crochets in a row once you've done that you're going to repeat the same process seven times all together to have seven rounds of single crochet so go ahead finish seven rounds of single crochet with 12 single crochet in each and then meet me back here after seven rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 12. we're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row that's my first let's put our stitch marker back in place is the second and we're going to work a decrease in the next stitch here so we're going to be pulling up the loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three in one go like this and that's your repeat for this round you're going to work two single crochets followed on with a decrease two single crochet and a decrease you should be able to fit three of these in this space now be sure to fill this arm up with some fiber fill as you work in before you work this round and as you're filling this in you need to fill it up to two rounds below so three quarters of the arm will be filled up with fiber fill and the top will be left unfilled so go ahead fill this arm up with fiber fill work that round and then meet me back here at the end of this round your stitch count should be nine we're now going to work one whole round of just single crochet so all together to finish this round you will have nine single crochets let's put our stitch marker back in place and go ahead work this round with nine single crochets all together once you finish working your nine single crochets in a row you're going to slip stitch in the next stitch to finish off with this arm like this let's leave a long tail and we're going to snip this yarn off pull it out of the stitch and pull this stitch down to secure it in place keep this the stitch you finished with on one side and give this a little squeeze making sure that you've left the top four let's say four rounds empty and the rest filled with fiber fill now go ahead follow the same instructions one more time to make another one of these arms now onto the ears and for this we're going to grab hold of our gray yarn and work a slip knot chain two one two and we're going to start round one by working six single crochets in the second chain from your hook and that's one two three four five and here's the sixth one so once you have your six single crochets going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between the stitches there we go and now we're going to start round two on top of our previous round so slip your hook in the top part of your first single crochet of your previous round and work an increase in there so two single crochets in the same stitch in this round I'm going to work six increases all together Here's my second increase, third increase, fourth increase, fifth increase, and my final increase of this round, increase number six. Now we're going to start the next round by working two single crochets in a row. Here's my first one. I'm going to use a stitch marker to identify the start of my round. And I'm going to follow this on with another single crochet in the next stitch. And we are now going to have two single crochets in the stitch after that. So in the same stitch, that means it's an increase. So here's your combination for this round two single crochets in a row followed on with an increase two single crochets in a row increase repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 16 
We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this round, you will have 16 single crochets in one row. So go ahead, finish this round with 16 single crochets and then meet me back here. At the end of one round of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 16. We're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. Here's my first. I'm going to put the stitch marker back in place. Second. And we're going to follow this on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And here's your repeat for this round. Two single crochets followed on with a decrease, two single crochets a decrease all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 12. We're now going to finish off with this ear by working a slip stitch in our next stitch, like this. And let's go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail. Let's pull it out of the stitch and tighten this. And there we go. This completes one ear. You're going to keep the thread that you finish with on one side or the stitch that you finish with on one side and squeeze the ear like this and it will naturally form a curve and this finishes our teddy bear's ear now go ahead follow the same instructions one more time to make another one of these now onto the eye patch for this panda and for this you're going to work a slip knot and you're going to chain five this time. So here's one, two, three, four, and five. Now from here, we're going to skip the first chain and work our first single crochet in the second chain from your hook. Slip your hook in there, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. That's my first single crochet here. We're going to work three in a row. So in the next stitch, I'm going to work another. Here's second single crochet and one more in the next stitch. That's the third single crochet. And once you've got your three single crochets in the last one, you're going to work three single crochets within the same stitch. So in that space, I'm going to work one, two, and three single crochets in the same space. Now, if that space stretches, you can pull on this to um, it reduced the size of that gap and now because we've worked three single crochets it will allow us to turn our work over and start working at the bottom of these stitches so in the next stitch we are going to work one single crochet and another single crochet in the next stitch after that so you've got two single crochets in a row and last stitch here you're going to work an increase in there so two single crochets in the same stitch and there we go now we're going to start working in spiral again so we are starting working in the top part of our previous um, single crochet from a previous round so here's my first single crochet i'm going to slip my hook in there and work an increase on top of it so that's my round two beginning by working uh, an increase in the first stitch so one single crochet there going back into that same stitch to work another single crochet there we go that's an increase we're now going to work two single crochets in a row so one in each stitch and we're going to work an increase in the next three stitches so three increases in a row that's my first increase here's my second increase and here's the third increase now we're going to work two single crochets in a row one in each stitch and complete this round by working two increases here's my first increase and my second increase right here 
Now we're going to work a slip stitch in our next stitch to finish off with this eye patch like this. Let's snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail. Pull it out, out and pull this down. And there we go. This completes one eye patch. You're going to follow the same instructions one more time to make another one of these. Onto the head now and for this let's grab hold of our cream or white yarn, whatever you're choosing to use. Work a slip knot and chain two. One, two. Now from here you're going to start round one by skipping the first chain and working six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. So let's slip our hook in the first, the second chain from your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. That's my first single crochet. We're going to work six of them all together. Second, third, fourth, fifth, and the final number six. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going, going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And once you've done it, we're going to start working in spiral again. So the first stitch off this round is going to be on top of your previous. So slip your hook in the first single crochet of your previous round and work and increase there. So that's one, going back into that same stitch to work another two. So an increase in that stitch. We're going to work six increases in this round. Here's my second increase. Third increase. Fourth increase. Fifth increase. And here's my final increase, number six. Once you've worked your six increases, your stitch count should be 12. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker in place to identify the start of our round. And now I'm going to follow the single crochet on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And that's my first. Here's my second. So there's my increase. Here's your repeat for this round. Single crochet followed on with an increase. Single crochet increase all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow the single crochet on with an increase. So two single crochets in the next stitch. And then we're going to have another single crochet after that in the next stitch. So here's your combination. One single crochet, an increase, followed on another single crochet. One single crochet, increase, one single crochet. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. We're now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. So here's my first stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this on with two more to make the total to three. And follow that on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. So here's your repeat for this round. Three single crochets followed on with an increase three single crochets increase all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 30. We're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. Here's my first, here's my second stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with an increase. And two more single crochets in a row. So here's one and two and this is your repeat for this round two single crochets in a row followed on with an increase two single crochets two single crochets in a row followed on with an increase two single crochets repeat that all the way around to finish this round at the end of this round your stitch count should be 36 we're now going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row here's my first 
Let's put the stitch marker back on. Second. Third. Fourth. And here's my fifth one. Follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And here's your repeat for this round. Five single crochets in a row, followed on with an increase. Five single crochets, increase, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 42. Let's start the next round with three single crochets in a row. Let's put our stitch marker back in place. One, two, three. And follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And then we're going to complete this combination with three more single crochets. Here's first, second, and third. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with an increase, followed on with three single crochets again. So three single crochets, increase, three single crochets. Three single crochets, increase, three single crochets. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 48. We're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round, you will have a total of 48 single crochets in a row. Once we have done this, we're going to repeat the same process several times so that we have five rounds of single crochet. So go ahead, finish five rounds of just single crochet and then meet me back here. At the end of five rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 48. Now we're going to start the next round and in here we're going to work six single crochets in a row. Here's my first, let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Once you have your six single crochets in a row, you're going to work a decrease in the next stitch. To do this, you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch here and pull up a loop. Do the same with the stitch after that. Pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. Let's give it a little tug so it closes off perfectly. Now, this is your combination for this round. Six single crochets in a row followed on with a decrease. Six single crochets, a decrease all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 42. We're going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row. So here's my first. I'm going to put a stitch, stitch marker back in place. And let's go ahead, work four more. There we go, once you have your five single crochets in a row, we're going to work a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And just like this, go ahead and finish this round with five single crochets, followed on with a decrease, five single crochets, decrease all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 36. We're now going to start the next round with four single crochets in a row. So here's my first. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. Second. Third. And my fourth one. Once you have your four single crochets in a row, you're going to follow that on with a decrease. Pull up a loop from the next two stitches. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And just like this, go ahead, work four single crochets, followed on with a decrease, four single crochets, decrease all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 30. We're now going to start the next round and in here, we're going to work three single crochets in a row, 
followed on with a decrease. So let's go ahead, work our first, second, and third single crochet. Stitch marker back in place. One, two, three. And follow that on with a decrease by pulling up a loop from the next two stitches. And there we go. Just like this, we're going to work three single crochets followed on with a decrease, three single crochets decrease all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. We're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. Here's my first and second. Follow this on with a decrease, so pull up a loop from the next two stitches. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. That's one, two, three there. And this is your combination for this round. Two single crochets followed on with a decrease, two single crochets decrease all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're going to work the final round of the head. And in this round, you're going to work one whole round of just single crochets. So in every single one of these stitches, you're going to work one single crochet. To finish this whole round, you will have 18 single crochets in a row. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this one round of single crochet, stitch count should still be 18. Let's finish off with the head by working a slip stitch in the next stitch. And pull this through the loop that you had on your crochet hook. Leave a long tail and snip this yarn off. Flip out of the stitch and pull this down and secure it in place. Now you will see that the head is complete, but we don't have any eyes or anything else on here at the moment. So we will be stitching all of that later because we have got these, um, the eye patches to go on first before we insert the teddy bear security eyes. Now the reason why we are going, we haven't filled this up with fiber fill is because to insert the teddy bear security eye, you need to be able to access the back. So we are going to be doing it from there like this. Okay, so that's the head finished. Let's move on to the body. Now onto the body and for this, let's grab hold of our yarn and work a slip knot. We're going to start by working chain two. One, two. Skip the first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Here's my first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and here's my sixth one. I'm going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And there now you can start working in a spiral. So we're going to be working next stitch in the first single crochet of your previous round. So slip your hook on the top part of that stitch and work an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. Here's my first single crochet. And here's the second one. So two single crochets in that same stitch. Next one, we're going to work another uh, increase. So in this round, you're going to have six increases all together. Here's my third increase. Fourth increase, fifth increase, and my sixth and final increase. Here it is. There you go. Now, next round, we're going to begin by working a single crochet in our first stitch, and from here, I'm going to start using a stitch marker. So, let's put that in that place to identify the start of my round. So from here, we're going to follow this single crochet on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And just like this, you're going to finish this whole round by working one single crochet followed on with an increase, single crochet increase all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. I'm going to follow the single crochet on with an increase. 
so two single crochets in the next stitch and then we're going to have another single crochet after that in the next stitch so here's your combination one single crochet and increase followed on another single crochet one single crochet increase one single crochet repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 24 we're now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row so here's my first stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this on with two more to make the total to three and follow that on with an increase so two single crochets in the same stitch so here's your repeat for this round three single crochets followed on with an increase three single crochets increase all the way around this round your stitch count should be 30. we're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row here's my first here's my second stitch marker back in place follow this on with an increase and two more single crochets in a row so here's one and two and this is your repeat for this round two single crochets in a row followed on with an increase two single crochets two single crochets in a row followed on with an increase two single crochets repeat that all the way around to finish this round at the end of this round your stitch count should be 36 we're now going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row here's my first let's put the stitch marker back on second third fourth and here's my fifth one follow this on with an increase so two single crochets in the same stitch and here's your repeat for this round five single crochets in a row followed on with an increase five single crochets increase repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 42 we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around now to finish one round you will have 42 single crochets in a row we are going to work five rounds of just single crochets all together so go ahead follow the same method each time and work five rounds of just single crochet and then meet me back here at the end of five rounds of single crochet your stitch count is still 42 we're going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row i'm going to put my stitch marker back in place here's third single crochet fourth and my fifth one once you have your five single crochets in a row you're going to follow that on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three in one go we're going to repeat this combination over and over again until we finish this round so we have five single crochets in a row followed on with a decrease five single crochets a decrease all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 36 we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around to finish one round you will have total of 36 single crochets in a row you're going to repeat the same process two times to have two rounds of just single crochet so go ahead finish two rounds of just single crochets and then meet me back here at the end of two rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 36. we're now going to start the next round with four single crochets in a row here's my first second third fourth stitch marker back in place Follow this on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches 
three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round, four single crochets, followed on with a decrease, four single crochets, decrease all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count is 30. We're going to now start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. There we go. And we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this one round, you will need 30 single crochets in a row. You're going to repeat that same method twice to have two rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead, work two rounds of just single crochet and then meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 30. We're going to start the next round with eight single crochets in a row. Now in this round, we are going to be changing color over to gray, so make sure that you have that handy. There we go, that's my first single crochet. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth. Once you work your eight single crochets, you're going to be changing the color in the next stitch. So for this, I like to snip the color, the previous yarn off to join this, but everyone works in a different way. So you stick with the method that you prefer. So if you're following this method, you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch, loop this gray yarn onto your hook and pull this through like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this yarn, the white yarn and the gray and give it a little knot in place. I like to do a double knot so it's nice and secure. There we go. I can now go ahead and snip my previous cream yarn off. I'm going to keep that handy because we're only working one stitch in grey for this round. So yarn over and pull through both of these loops that you have on your hook. And that's it with the grey one for now. We are going to again do the same thing. So I'm going to move that out of the way, grab my cream colour again, slip my hook in the next stitch and loop it onto the hook, pull it through, turn it around. I'm going to give these two tail ends a little knot in place. Now I can go ahead and snip this grey yarn off as well. And now I'll continue working my stitches in this colour. So there's my first single crochet. We're going to work 21 all together to finish this round, including this one. So go ahead, work 20 more single crochets and then meet me back here. After working your 21 single crochets, this is what your stitch will look like in the front. Just a single one and the top one will be covered in a minute. So from here you're going to start the next round with seven single crochets this time. And that's my first one. Stitch mark back in place. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth and seventh. Now we're going to change the colour over to grey again. Let's go ahead and snip this old colour off first. Grab the grey colour, slip your hook in the next stitch and pull up a loop with this grey colour like this. Grab hold of the tail ends, both of them, and tie them into a knot. From here, you're working the next three stitches with this grey colour. So that's my first, second, and third. So three single crochets in this grey colour. Let's change over to white again or cream again. Thank you. 
And now you're going to continue working with this cream color and work a total of 20 single crochets. So that's my first, here's second. Go ahead, work your 20 single crochets and meet me back here. Once you've finished your 20 single crochet, this is what the front will look like. And we're now going to finish off with this white color by working a slip stitch in the next stitch over here, like this. And let's go ahead and snip this yarn off, pull it out, pull this down, there you go. Now we're going to change the colour over to grey. You can do this anywhere or across the top. I tend to do it a few stitches before where I've finished off. So here we go, pull this through, give it a little knot in place. And we are going to go back into that same stitch, chain one first, back again into the same stitch to work our first single crochet. Now in this round we're going to be working some decreases, so that's my first single crochet. Here's my second and my third. So we're going to have three single crochets followed on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And this is your repeat for this round. You're going to work three single crochets followed on with a decrease, three single crochets decrease all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. Now we're going to work our next round and we're going to go back into working spiral. So we're going to work our first stitch in the first single crochet of your previous round. Let's use a stitch marker to identify the start again. And in this round, I'm going to work a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. So you're just going to have one round of single crochets in grey colour. So go ahead and work one round and then meet me back here. At the end of this round of single crochets, your stitch count should still be 24. We're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. Here's my first second followed on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three in one go let's put our stitch marker back in place there it is and this is your repeat for this round two single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round stitch count should be 18. we're now going to work our final round and for this, you're going to work one whole round of just single crochets. So 18 single crochets in a row. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of one round of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 18. We're going to finish off with this body by working a slip stitch in the next stitch. And you can now go ahead and snip this yarn off and pull it out of the stitch. Pull this down to secure it in place and there we go so the body is now complete you can go ahead and fill this up with fiber fill before you attach the arms and legs on to this body now onto the muzzle and for this let's grab our cream yarn and we're going to start off by working a slip knot and chain two one two once you have your two chains, you're going to start round one by skipping the first chain and working six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. That's my first single crochet. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. And sixth. Once you have your six single crochets, you pull on this to eliminate the gap between your stitches. Now, on to round two. For this, you're going to slip your hook in the first single crochet of your previous round. And we're going to work an increase in there, so two single crochets in the same stitch. And in this round, you're going to have six increases all together. 
So here's my second increase. Third increase. Fourth increase. Fifth increase. And my sixth increase, so the final one of this round. Now, for the next round, we're going to start by working a single crochet in your first stitch. And I'm going to start using a stitch marker from here on to identify the start of each of my rounds. And next to this, I'm going to work two single crochets in the same stitch, so an increase. And this is what your combination is for the whole round. One single crochet followed on with an increase, a single crochet increase all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in your first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this on with an increase in the next stitch. and a single crochet in the next stitch after that. So here's my combination for this round. One single crochet, increase, one single crochet. One single crochet, increase, one single crochet. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. And follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. Now to finish one round, you will have 24 single crochets in a row. After once you've done that, repeat the same process one more time so that you have two rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead, work two rounds of single crochet and then meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 24. We're now going to finish off with this muzzle by working a slip stitch in the next stitch, like this. We're going to now snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail, because we'll be using this to stitch the muzzle back onto the mouth or the head. And there we go, now the muzzle is complete. All the components for this bear are now complete. Follow along to part two for assembly instructions.